Here's an important way to construct a vector space. This we're going to use over and over again. So I have a vector space V and a bunch of vectors V1 through VR. Any vectors at all. Just take any collection of vectors from your vector space. And let W be the following set. You take A1, V1, plus A2, V2, plus so on, A, R, V, R, where A1 through A, R are any scalars. This is, um, in other words, this is all of the linear combinations of the vectors V1 through VR. Um, this is a subspace. So why is this a subspace? Well, if you take one of these vectors, which is a linear combination, and take another one, which is a different linear combination with coefficients b, bi, well, what happens if you add them? Well, u plus v, you have to ask whether that's in w. Well, u plus v, if you work it out, is clearly a1 plus b1 times v1 plus and so on. And so when you add them, you get another linear combination of the vectors. And something similar happens with scalar multiplication. So uh, here's a picture of what's going on. In R3, you take any bunch of vectors, v1, in this case, three of them, and it's you're taking the plane spanned by them. Um, in this case, the three vectors all lie on a plane, and so the subspace that you get by this construction is a plane. We call this the span. This construction is the span. So here's another example. Take two vectors in R2. What's their span? Uh, well, if they don't point in the same direction, what's the plane spanned by these two vectors? It's clearly all of R2. In other words, what I'm saying is that if you take all of the vectors you can write as av1 plus bv2, you can get every vector in R2 this way. Okay, I think that's a good place to stop. So um, that's all for now.